Ooh, hello Jackie. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I thought I would just do a little chatty get ready with me. Um, I'm just going to sit and do my makeup, have a little chat with you guys, just talk about what I've been up to during this lockdown, things that I've been trying to do to keep myself busy, how my mood's been, um, little things like that. Um, I know I didn't post a video last week but honestly I had no motivation whatsoever last week to make a video but we'll talk about that when we get into when we get into it all um so let's start so um it's not going to be like a tutorial where i like show you each product that i'm using i'm just going to chat and if i tell you what it is then then i do but I'm, i promise i'll show you what, what most of it is anyway so let's get into it so i'm just going to prime my face first and this is the dr jart porefine recover primer so i'm just going to go in with this oh shit i need to clip my fringe back first before I do any of that, so let me find a clip. There we go. Excuse the hair today, by the way. This is literally slept in hair. I slept in this last night. And I've tried to do the best that I can with it. Um, I put in some leave-in conditioner and some mousse in to try and like zhuzh up the curls, but it wasn't having any of it. I really could not be bothered. Um, wetting it again so it's just a whole lot of mess today but that's fine because we ain't going nowhere so how have we all been during this lockdown how are we all coping i know myself that i've found it pretty difficult i ain't gonna lie i've had my ups i've had my downs um it's been a roller coaster of emotions during this time where's my foundation i mean it's i started off in good spirits um, oh my god, I hope this matches because we've had some sun in the UK and I've not got a tan but I've got a little bit so I'm hoping this doesn't look too pale uh, we might be good um, oh. we'll see I was kind of fine about like the whole having to stay in thing or you're going out for essentials like that didn't really bother me um, of course I miss my family and friends but I don't really get homesick um, which is weird I know like obviously I miss people but not to a point where I, it gets me down I don't know why um apart from Martin and he, that's because he's my boyfriend wow this is looking really yellow but I don't know if that's because I'm in a different like place today where I usually do my makeup but I'll just go with it um yeah so I was coping okay up until last week um and I kind of got really down, like my mental health was really bad. Um, I was kind of just, no, I have to be quiet when I say this because people are like around in the house, but I was kind of sick of like Martin's family not following the social distancing rules. Um, obviously if you're in the UK, you know that you're supposed to be going out for essentials. Um, you can have you know your daily exercise whether that's going out on a bike ride on a walk whatever um you're not supposed to have anyone over or go to anyone else's house that's not in your household already so you know you're not supposed to go to your friend's house your boyfriend's house your girlfriend's house like people are really sacrificing seeing their partners their grandparents their friends um and people in this house just weren't doing that like Oh, I can't even tell you how like annoying it has been so we've had oh my God. someone's coming there we go so I'm moving on to concealer so I'm just gonna use the fit me Maybelline concealer um yeah so we've had like man's mum who has been going to the shops like two to three times a day bearing in mind you're only supposed to really go once or twice a week for essential things so she'll go to the supermarket, then she'll go to another shop, um, and then she'll go to the corner shop on the evening. Um, and I mean, that's just in the space of one day, so imagine that like pretty much every single day. Plus other people in the household also going out like Martin's sister. Um, you know, also going to meet people, then his sisters that don't live here will come in over. Um, I mean, and their justification was that 
they were staying in the garden while we were in the house like talking to each other through the window and I mean it's just not good enough like there are people like I'm not seeing my family I'm not seeing my friends and it's like not just about me and like oh I'm not doing this so you can't do this like people are not seeing their boyfriends and girlfriends like haven't seen them for weeks and then like what makes you think that you're so different that you can like that these rules aren't for you so I was like scared it's like well if you guys are going out all the time and people are coming over what if what if you bring it back here what if I get it what if Martin who is at high risk because he's got asthma gets it like it had me stressed the f out each day like my anxiety has not been this bad since we first moved to Aberdeen and I had to go to work so like before Christmas I just realized that I cannot talk and do a makeup at the same time um because I don't have a clue what I'm doing so yeah I was like stressed the hell out because I was just I was just number one I was worried for my health and Martin's health and not having control over your own health is a scary thing because you can do all that you can do to try and protect yourself and everybody else that you care about but if other people aren't doing it then you, <laughs> you literally can't do anything about it okay i've just finished doing my um cream contour someone came back up the stairs so that's why i stopped um because as much as like this is pissing me off i don't want a confrontation because it's just too much drama um yeah so um all that um, in a nutshell was just kind of really affected my mental health so I was really down for like three to four days um, like crying stressed like had really bad anxiety um, and what made it worse I think was that um, like I couldn't talk to anybody about it like I would obviously tell Martin like like this is upsetting me I don't think this like this is really affecting me and he would have like words with them and be like listen you, sh you know you shouldn't be like you're not supposed to um you're not supposed to go out like three times a day and you know you're not supposed to have this person over and this person over so he was doing his best to try and like encourage them to stop um, but I mean they weren't listening like he would have that conversation the next day they would be still doing it but like Martin was worried that there was gonna be like a, a confrontation in the house like because I wasn't talking to anybody like literally for two days I didn't talk to his mom his sister like if they if they asked me a question or if they spoke to me of course I answered like I'm not that rude I just didn't have anything to say to them because I just didn't I just didn't have anything to say that made me feel so like shit like in my mental health that I just didn't have anything to say at all I had, didn't want to have a, com a conversation with, with anybody um, and then Martin was worried that there was going to be an argument because he was saying obviously his mum was noticing that I wasn't myself and he didn't want them to be like a big confrontation because he was worried that they would kick me out and I was like that's fine I'll just go live in my car so he was like you can't say anything you need to you need to like suck it up and act normal because you can't like obviously we don't know how long we'll be in lockdown for he was like you can't go weeks and weeks without speaking to anybody um and also like you're down every day which is affecting our relationship which is affecting you which is affecting me because i'm down but you're down and it was just a bit of a whole like shit show to be honest um like i generally thought like it, this is going to give me a mental breakdown so being the bigger person that I am I decided to flip a switch in the words of Drake and kind of change my outlook on it like um it's hard like I, like obviously it was like stressing me out and I was saying to him why do I have to be the bigger person like I'm not doing anything wrong in this situation I'm literally the one that is following the rules doing this doing that so why do I have to suck it up 
like I would happily go and talk to them about it but he was like no because they'll take it a different way and there'll be an argument like and I, I was just saying that well can't we just be adults and have a conversation about it and he was like no because they're not like that they'll they'll like take it as like you're attacking them and I was just like oh my god like this is ridiculous and then he would also bring up the fact that this is not my house so he would be like Caroline like you you can't make my mum feel uncomfortable in her own home like it's not your house so technically if you're unhappy leave and I was like that is an option but we're not supposed to be going to people's households are we like my sister and and her girlfriend have obviously like said to me like come out here come here but I'm not gonna be a hypocrite and go over to their house like endanger them potentially with you know I don't know if any of us have got got this um, I'm not gonna go endanger them plus my sister is a teacher so she's a key worker I'm not gonna endanger her more and she could potentially take that to children so no I'm not gonna do that so anyway I ended up having to like suck it up basically um, I kind of thought at first like I'm not gonna be able to do this because like I'm such an emotional person anyway like I can't hide how I feel like if I'm upset I'm upset like I'm a crier if I'm happy I'm happy um, but I have kind of I don't know how honestly I don't know how I've managed to do it like props to myself to be honest with you because it's actually really difficult but I think the first step was just like talking with his mum again like obviously not talking about what was up but just engaging in conversation um don't get me wrong I'm still pissed off when people go in and out but I have you might say Caroline this is really pathetic I've made a tally chart and it's got the days of the week on <coughs> excuse me it's got an initial of every person that lives in this house and every time somebody goes out or comes in that is not essential they get a little strike what is that going to achieve I don't really know but I think it's just my own peace of mind my own mental health that I'm actually doing something I've got proof to show I don't know I don't know why I've done it it just amuses me I guess but it's keeping me sane um and I do feel a lot better for it like I feel so much happier um about it can I take this out can I take this clip out no I do feel a lot happier about about it like in myself because being emotional and like down every single day is just so draining like I've never felt so like emotionally tired in such a long time yeah and this has gone on quite a while this little rant of mine but it's nice to like be able to chat and like just let people know that like if you're struggling I'm also struggling you know if you've got people in your household or people that you know that aren't abiding by these social distancing rules um it's it's really shit because like I said you're not in control of your own health you can't you can get through it you can you know it's really difficult um but you can do it just try and focus your mind on on other things and just think that like you can't you can't prevent other, what other people do you can't stop them like no matter how many times you talk to them they're gonna do what they want to do all you have to do is just remember that that in that time you needed them to do the right thing they didn't it has made me certain that I really need to move out of this house um <laughs> As soon as bloody possible I cannot wait for us to go back to Scotland let's actually do my makeup like I like I said I actually haven't done my makeup in like a week or so well properly I haven't done it I did like a Instagram look uh, last week which didn't turn out too great it was like a Coraline inspired look you know where they've got like the buttons in like I saw a lot of people on TikTok do it so I thought I'd give it a go but I wasn't 100% happy with it but it is what it is what else shall we chat about some things that I've been trying to do to keep myself occupied during this time now we've got the whole rant out of the way um first of all I'm gonna do eyeshadow on. I thought I would do like a colorful eyeshadow today so I've got my trusty NYX ultimate brights palette here um so I thought I'd just tell you that before we get into other things I've been trying to exercise still obviously because the gyms are shut so um every like say like three to four three to four that's very optimistic i haven't been doing three to four times a week so like two or three times a week maybe four i don't know say three three times a week i've been doing some exercise in the garden um obviously the weather's been absolutely gorgeous the past couple of days really really hot which is 
unheard of for England. I want to do a purple, but I don't know what purple to do. Tom Pring whether to do like a dark type of purple or like a light type of purple. I'm thinking maybe a light first. Um, yeah, so like I said in my March favourites video, I've been doing the shreddy workouts. Um, on Instagram, which has been amazing. Um, I'm actually really, really sore today and through the night it was awful. I did a HIIT workout two days ago and a leg day yesterday. Um, so I'm really, really like feeling it today. So I've had a break today. That doesn't look too bad. I don't know if you can see the colour. Like this, I'm in a weird spot doing my makeup today because like there's nowhere to do it in this bedroom. Obviously I sat on the bed for my March favourites videos. Um, but I can't really do my makeup on the bed because there's nowhere to like put the mirror. So, as usual, I'm on the floor. I think I'm just gonna do, am I gonna do just one, like, one type? One, like, colour? I think so. I don't think I'm gonna do, like, two. Two eyeshadow colours or three. I think I'm just gonna do one today, just like that. What else have I been doing? Um, helping Martin in the garden because him and his dad are doing a lot of things to the garden, actually. Um, they've got, like, more gravel and things to put down. Uh, man's making a home gym, putting up fences. So I've been the painter. I've painted some benches, a chair, fences. If you want some painting, I'm your girl. I made some blueberry muffins yesterday, which went down a treat, I was, which I was really proud of. What else have I been doing? That's it really, just kind of enjoying the sun the past couple of days. Um, I'd like to say I've been vlogging a lot, but I really, really haven't. Um, like I said, I had no motivation last week to blog so I, I vlogged and got up on Monday and Thursday one is supposed to go up which is a day but I'm not sure if I'll get one up hopefully I will um after this maybe and that's kind of it I had like FaceTimes with family we did like a like a we did some pub quizzes last Friday which was I'd like to say fun but it was more annoying <laughs> people get very competitive and talk over each other um but i guess it's kind of fun to do something different anyway um i've been day drinking quite a bit no i'm just lying i have been day drinking but not quite a bit just like two dark fruits a day which is very hardcore i know and that's kind of it and just like pottering around i honestly don't know what to do with myself most days martin keeps himself busy all the time because he's always in his shed doing stuff in the garden doing stuff he's still working from home so I kind of find myself just like following him around like a little lost lamb, which is not change to normal circumstances, to be honest with you. Um, because I'm always just kind of like following him around. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna do eyeliner. Should I? Also, we watched Tiger King, which I'm sure everyone has been, everyone has watched by now. Um, obviously a lot of mixed things about it. Um, like I enjoyed it. Like I enjoyed the entertainment side of it and I know a lot of people have said like they don't understand why people find it enjoyable because of the animal cruelty in it and yes I hated the animal cruelty in it like the fact they were in cages, the fact that the cubs were getting taken away from the parents, all of that, the fact they were in captivity, hated it um, but I did find it entertaining and I cannot get that freaking Carol Baskin TikTok song out of my head it is literally replaying all day every day. Um, so yeah, I mean, I do, I do recommend you watch Tiger King. Um, it is difficult to watch in some places, but it is still entertaining. It's still good, um, and it it does like you. How can I put it? Like you do question like whose side am I on? Like, did Carol kill her husband? Yes. Is Tiger King, like, is Joe Exotic at fault? Absolutely. Um, but it's it's just like a whirlwind of things. So I do recommend that you watch it. I might do a little wing. Let me find. Okay, so bear with me while I do this because I'm hoping it doesn't turn out wrong.
so I've just, if you can see, I've just done a wing. I haven't gone like full across the lid. It's okay. Okay, we're off my skin. Okay, so now that is the eyeliner done. Like I said, it's just a little wing. I'm gonna move on to mascara. I'm gonna take my trusty PS Aqua Lash from Primark. Also, I've been stuffing my face with Easter eggs because obviously we've had Easter here. Um, went to Asda on our essential shopping trip last week, uh, which was after Easter. Um, like the next day after Easter, was it Easter Monday? I think it was Easter Monday. Um, and all the Easter eggs were reduced to like one pound fifty, so I was in my element. Also tried the TikTok coffee drink thing obviously where you like whisk up the coffee and put it into a glass of milk um i didn't drink it personally because i don't drink coffee um but i gave it to martin who said that it was nice um he said it was a bit strong um well that's fine because we can just put less in next time so i'm hoping he enjoyed it i wish i kind of was drinking coffee because i would love to have one but it just fucks with my anxiety too much and i ain't about that anymore that's mascara done as you can see i feel like i'm so absolutely chatting shite to you guys but it is what it is i hope you all had a lovely easter as well um if whatever you're doing to like keep your mind occupied then let me know because i would love some more suggestions because like i said sometimes i don't know what to do with myself and like in terms of like youtube videos and things like i would love to film more videos but i'm just out of ideas like i'm skint as always so i can't really like buy anything to like to do like hauls or anything um so in terms of like apart from like chatty sit down videos like doing makeup i don't really know what else to do so let me know what you want from me i'm gonna do my eyebrows try to anyway um so excuse the concentration on this i've been watching youtube videos as well to try and keep myself occupied um john lipscomb has done quite a few recently i know she's trying to get a lot out to keep people busy um so i've been loving hers who else have i been watching i think that's kind of it really i've been binge watching jordan's um videos i don't really know what i'm gonna do myself today either after i've done this like i said hopefully try and get a blog post out for tonight um but like martin's busy doing stuff with his dad so i'm just kind of lost again he's also been playing on his xbox not a lot because he's not really like a gamer sort of guy but i've asked him if we can get another controller so i can like have a go as well you know so we can like play like against each other and he said he does have one but he doesn't know where it is so i'm hoping to try and find that out at some point i really wish i still had my nintendo wii though because i would love to just have a go and just dance Did anyone else used to like love that when they were younger i remember when i lived at my mom's house how old must i have been say like 17 ish i bought myself a wii and got just dance i used to like use that as like my daily exercise um instead of like when i didn't go to the gym and stuff i used to absolutely love it my god you can get such a sweat on with it but my room was tiny, it was like a box room. So I honestly don't know how I managed to like move around, but somehow I did. I can't imagine like the sounds that my mum was hearing from downstairs. Just me thumping around trying to dance. That is eyebrows done. And am I gonna wear lipstick today? That is the old quest of room. Um Maybe let's have a look, see what we've got here. Um I'm guessing probably a nude would go with this. Let's have a little look see in my bag. The one that I've got in mind, I cannot find pink. Pink on pink. Would that be nice? Would that be too much pink on pink? Let's have a little look. if you don't mind this getting a bit of barbie vibes 
Um, this is actually the Lock Millie. What is it? Bohemian Rose Ultra Gloss Lip Pencil. And it's that one. There. I've had this for years. I think I got it in like a birch box when I used to get the subscription. Um, but yeah. That is kind of the finished look. Um, it's something a little different because I don't think I do. I haven't done like a. Oh my god, my legs are under. I haven't done a like colourful makeup look on this channel yet. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, so make sure you let me know what you want to see from me. Um, and you know, I would love, love to do a question and answer but I feel like I don't have enough subscribers or followers like on Instagram to like put that out there um but if you have any questions that you would like me to answer then please just leave them in the comments because I would love to do one like that you know so you guys get to know me a bit more um yeah that's it so I hope you all stay really safe um I hope all your loved ones are really safe and really well um and we can all get through this together if you're a key worker um out there whether it's NHS supermarkets whatever again thank you so much for everything that you're doing um i appreciate it so much um and i'll see you in the next video bye